One of the biggest problems with self-propelled guns is that they can only carry a limited amount of their precious and delicate ammunition, so other vehicles have to be tasked with supplying it to the SPGs. Argentina did exactly that at the beginning of the current millennium, when they converted the TAM chassis into the Vehículo de Combate Amunicionador, or VC Amun, to supply the Vehículo de Combate de Artilleria. Welcome to a new Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. If you like our content, you can also find us on most mainstream social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also you can find our Discord server in the description. The origins of the VC Amun lay in the failures of another project, the Vehículo de Combate Ambulancia. In 2001, Comando de Arsenales, which had taken over from Tamse as the company in charge of the tank assembly facilities in Boulogne-sur-Mer, built a mock-up for a chassis to go on a TAM running gear and fulfill the role of combat ambulance. Whilst this vehicle had some potential, it did not get past the mock-up stage and was rejected. However, the lessons learned were not lost. The following year, Commando de Arsenales presented a new vehicle, which used the same chassis for the purpose of resupplying the VCAs, which had entered service in 1997 with ammunition. The main difference is that, instead of medical equipment, the VC Amun had a conveyor belt to feed the ammunition into the VCA's turret. Two were built by Commando de Arsenales, and the plan was to build at least 16 more to supply and assist every single VCA attached to an armored artillery group. Given that the VC Amun is based on the TAM, it shares many of its characteristics and, by extension, also with the Marder 1 IFV the TAM is based on. The frontal plate is at a pronounced 75 degree angle, and the front half of the sides are positioned at 32 degrees. The second half of the vehicle has a tall superstructure instead of the turret, tall enough to house the 155mm ammunition the VC Amun carries. At the front of the tank on each side are headlights. Behind these also on each side are wing mirrors. On each side of the front middle section of the hull are a set of four Wegman 76mm smoke launchers. On the sides of the VC Amun's superstructure, the crew's backpacks are carried, along with towing equipment. Given that the VC Amun is based on the TAM, the armor is made of electrically welded nickel chromium molybdenum steel. The front plate is 50mm thick and the sides and rear 35mm. There are no details for the superstructure's armor, but an informed assumption would put it at 35mm. It can also be supposed that, additionally, the VC Amun is equipped with the same NBC protection system as the TAM which allows the crew to stay or pass through a contaminated area for up to 8 hours, but not operate in it. The NBC system feeds the main and driver's compartment with filtered air that can absorb solid or gaseous elements from poisonous or radioactive substances. The vehicle is able to operate in very harsh temperatures, from as low as minus 35 to as high as 42 degrees Celsius. There's also an automatic fire extinguishing system which can be triggered from the interior or exterior. On the top of the superstructure is the only armament the VC Amun carries, a 7.62mm FN Mag 60-40 machine gun on the commander's cupola. The 7.62x51 NATO standard bullets the machine gun fires have a muzzle velocity of 850 meters per second and a firing range of around 1,200 meters. The crew also carried their personal weapons and presumably between 8 or 9 hand grenades. The VC Amun retained the suspension and running gear of the Marda 1, a torsion bar type suspension with 6 rubber tired paired road wheels and 3 return rollers on each side. The tracks are of a Vickers system, each track consisting of 91 links with rubber tank treads. These can be substituted by snow cleats if required. The interior of the VC Amun is divided into two main sections, with the frontal section being further subdivided into two subsections. 
The bigger of these subsections, occupying two thirds of the space, houses the engine, whilst the smaller one is for the driver and driving mechanisms to his left. There is a hatch above the driver's position and three episcopes, and the whole section of the frontal hull covering the engine can be opened for engine maintenance. The engine on the VC Amun is the MTU MB833KI500 diesel engine, a six cylinder rated at 720 horsepower at 2400 revolutions per minute, which is used on all TAM family vehicles. The engine is kept cool by two ventilators at its rear, powered by a 33 horsepower engine of their own. The gearbox on the VC Amun is the HSWL204 automatic planetary gearbox with torque converter and four forward, four reverse gear ratios. The first three are epicyclic gear trains, also known as planetary gears, and the fourth is a clutch disc. Again, this gearbox is used on all TAM family vehicles. The rear section carries 80 rounds of 155mm ammunition of the different types the VCA fires. These are supplied to the VCA by means of a 3 meter long conveyor belt, which is powered by a 24 volt electrical engine. The conveyor belt exits the VC Amun through the rear door, originally designed for entry and exit of the crew on the TAM, and enters the VCA through a rectangular hatch at the top rear of the turret. A total of 28 rounds, the VCA's capacity, can be supplied in only 2 minutes. This process is carried out by two of the VC Amun's crew and the two loaders of the VCA. The total crew of the VC Amun consists of four people, the driver, the commander, and two ammunition porters. It can be assumed that communications are by means of VHF, SEL, SEM-180 and SEM-190 systems and an SEL, SEM-170 radio receptor, as this is used on most other TAM family vehicles. Despite its merits, the VC Amun is yet another lost opportunity in a long list of Argentinian military projects terminated too early because of budgetary constraints or lack of interest. Only two vehicles were built and served the armored artillery groups equipped with VCAs stationed in the southern part of the country. These are the Grupo de Artilleria Blindado 9 and the Grupo de Artilleria Blindado 11, Coronel Juan Batista Torne. The artillery group number 9 is based in the Chubut province in the middle of the Patagonian plateau, whilst the 11th artillery group is based in the town of Comandante Luis Piedrabuena, Santa Cruz province the southernmost point of Patagonia. The VC Amons carry out their task alongside modified M548A1s. The VC Amon has fulfilled the role it was initially set out to do, supply the VCA with ammunition. Unfortunately, financial and administrative issues have meant only two have been built. It is unlikely any more will ever be constructed, but the remaining two will probably serve in the Ejército Argentino for as long as the VCA does. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell button. We'll be releasing new videos on the regular. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Reddit. If you use Discord, there's a link to our community server in the description. And if you would like to help us continue to develop and expand, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to help us enhance and design new articles and features for you. Until next time, keep us in your sights.